true they take a habit. Where does that go? That's true. Uh, yeah. No, that's high street special. All right, like to call the meeting to order. It's uh, seven o'clock, and uh, we will start by saying the pledges. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Patrick. Alrighty. Um, Nicole is on vacation, so do I have a motion to put Christina in as a voting member tonight? Make a motion to put Christina in as a, a voting member for the second okay. meeting. Discussion. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, motion to approve agenda as presented. Make a motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. Second. Discussion. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, motion to approve minutes from our July 17th meeting. Make a motion to approve the minutes from our Board of Finance regular meeting on July 17th, 2024. Second. Second. Uh, any discussion or corrections? Any one of those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public participation. I don't think we're going to have much of that tonight. Uh, communications, I have none. Amy? None. None. Okay. Well, we are flying through this one. <laughs> uh, monthly reports. Start with the town, 23-24. Okay. So I have, they're not quite final because I'm still doing balance sheet analysis, but um, you have both revenue for 23-24 um, and you have um, the expenditures for the town side with the revenue has a shortfall, but it also has $3 million, I think on page two. In the treasurer section, yeah, three point three million dollars of use of fund balance because we did the two million um, one ninety for the two roofs, DPW roof, the fire department roof, and the radio system, as through town meeting and additional appropriations from from to bring our fund balance down underneath the policy cap, and uh, so that left us only short by seven hundred thousand. Seven eighty. Yep, seven eighty. After spending that much money on fund balance, so we're just a little bit short, and um, they have a few more things coming in in expenditures. Um, we have some return of some grant funds we have to do relating to some of our social services and senior services programs. Um, I have a few more bills coming that I know of, so this isn't final, but the number of one hundred and twenty-one thousand is probably pretty close to what it will be when we get all done. Our next, our last check run is next week on the 28th for um, the 23-24 year. Okay. And then any questions on 23-24? And then 24-25, we collected $18.5 million, which is 50 something percent, 52% of our total. And not too much other revenue. We got um, half of our town aid road um, tax collections and a little bit from uh, interest income, town clerk fees, planning fees, building fees, but nothing to tell me that things won't be where they're budgeted or will be significantly over as of right now. I'm saying it's month one. And same with expenditures other than the change to make the election workers employees means we have to move the election worker money that hasn't been spent up to an election worker that's in a salary line. So it has to change to a 516 account. And we need to increase their part time because they only budgeted $870 and they've already spent 700 of it with having part time help in the office, the four hours of that one day a week that the registrars are there. They're having their deputies come in and work doing office work for them to keep up with the workload. So that will be a transfer next time to change the account to a different place, but they haven't finished paying the payroll. Um, the people who work the early voting on Sunday and the election on Tuesday have not been paid yet because that was a different payroll period 
than the early voting the week before. Our payroll period ended on August 10th. Early voting ended on August 11th, and the primary was on the 13th. So that's the only thing I know of that's coming. I don't think any of our negotiations were close enough to do any kind of transfers for that. Nobody else is significantly over or spent money that they shouldn't have spent that I was nothing that I wasn't expecting. And a lot of them not at all yet because the elect, election electric bills that just came were part June and part July, and they were our 12th month for July for June. So they're in last year. So some of that stuff just hasn't happened yet. Does anybody have any questions on 25? We spent 5% of our budget, so we still have $43 million left to spend. And then CNR shows what the balances were that would carry forward. Um, we carried forward them pretty early, the middle of July, um, because we did the new allocations last month at this meeting. So um, when I do the new allocations, I carry forward the last year. So even if they get a June bill now, it's going to come out of this year because I already moved the balances over. So these balances here, these revised budget are the beginning balances plus whatever allocations they got of the 1.2 million that we allocated. And we did that last month also. So right now we have $9 million in CNR accounts, but all spoken for. Anybody have any CNR questions? Yes. All right. Board of Education 2324. So for uh, end of fiscal 24, it's kind of showing sure up still as far as the general fund goes. Um, since I had sent this report over to Amy, um, like as of today, we've officially cut all of our general fund checks, closed all our incumbences, um, and we got all of our final um, bills in as far as stuff like you should have been really waiting on. Um, I can report that we finished in the black, um, you know, so we're, we're in, uh, it's a net positive. It's not a very large amount, uh, but I do have that amount, uh, that I'm forwarding over to a four, uh, tomorrow. So I'll have that to share at the next meeting. Um, as far as grants, um, there, there's a little bit of, um, revenue that still has to be recognized, the same with food service and FRC, um, and just, uh, it's like a receivable revenue that I can you that. Um, but other than that, I think 24 is um, pretty, pretty much wrapping up at this point. There's a few things um, I had reached out to the auditors just to clarify, um, just to kind of get ahead of it this year. Um, but I feel pretty confident in the end of that. Question for 24. Yeah, okay. if you don't mind, sorry. Um, on the, maybe I'm just not looking at this right, but on the food service one, um, you're saying that the total food service is negative, like 11,000, but then you have a total expense of negative 72,000, but then you still show a negative 11,000 as a grand total. So, where is this? so are you reading like the year to date column there? Uh, no, the available budget. So available gets kind of weird with food service this year because I didn't have um, a budgeted amount entered in under uh, original appropriation or revised, it shows the bankable as a um, as a negative when you look at it across like that. But basically, what it's reading here is that revenue, the negative seven ten, is actually like the amount of revenue that we brought in. So we brought in seven hundred ten thousand four sixty four. We spent seven twenty two. So um, that is negative eleven thousand eight twenty fifty six. But that is because. Um, not all of like the June revenue is booked yet. Food service you you put in for a reimbursement, and then the state kind of disperses it later on. Um, I was going to uh, book that as probably a receivable because I still haven't received it yet, just so the year's pay report actually um, lines up. But that'll that'll end in the uh, the positive as well. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Any other questions? Okay, and I'm sure you don't have much to report for 2425, but we'll. Yeah, I did. Um, uh, I didn't send the 25 again just to kind of respect our board. Um, they haven't seen any 25 numbers yet. Um, I did speak to, uh, uh, you know, to just clarify to them like, hey, before I, uh, I won't send anything to the town before you guys have seen it. 
Um, so we are going to speak to that at our next board meeting. Um, our first uh, payroll with the teachers is this Friday. Um, so that'll, it's, it's a big one. We just finished it today. So you'll see all the encumbrances, everything um, in the next uh, report. All righty. Um, reconciliation, Amy? Our bank are good through July. Uh, Interfunds, I don't think, are balanced yet. You're still kind of as we met. So uh, I think last time I reported May, we're, we're basically through June. I am working on the inner funds as well. Um, actually, I'll, I'll follow up with Amy this week, hopefully, just on to clarify one of the uh, inner fund questions. But um, we have that. And then we already did all of our VAI files and everything before July, August, September. So we at least can see what's cleared, um, but we just have to go back through and, and actually do a, a manual reconciliation. So but that is coming. Okay, very good. Thank you. All righty. Um, there's nobody here from the Board of Selectmen. So, Patrick, I'm sure you're excited to start school next week or whenever you start. Uh, we are. Um, we've been getting re ready for some back to school. We had new teacher orientation last week. That was three days. Um, we have 12 new uh, teachers. When I say new, replacing, not actually additional. Mm -hmm. um, um, and that went uh, very, very well. Uh, we have convocation for all of staff all today. Um, very good positive uh, energy. Uh, they are doing professional development along with uh, setting up their classrooms uh, this week to uh, ensure that we open um, open and everything's ready. Um, it's uh, next Tuesday. Um, as far as just some other updates, um, uh, one of my superintendent goals last year was to essentially um, uh, work to uh, outsource our food service um, that process is successful for anyone that knows Nancy Almighty. Um, she's been a, a fabulous person and has been a kind of like our uh, cafeteria staff, but she had retired um, as of this summer. We actually had to beg her to work the summer to uh, get us through the summer camp. Uh, but we're outsourcing to uh, Whitson's and uh, uh, the first reviews have been very positive. They did uh, some food for a teacher. Um, orientation and they did a uh, convocation uh, yesterday. And, um, uh, you know, we're looking forward to what that's going to bring to the district. Uh, also, as far as just things taking place, um, um, I know one of uh, the SIP and CNR accounts was for the Broadbrook gym ceiling. Uh, that work was uh, officially completed today. Uh, the visual inspection looked good. Um, and uh, we're just like, and we're expecting clearance tomorrow after the results of the hair test. Okay. Um, so um, that project is just about uh, complete. Um, hopefully, uh, the work on the track will uh, start any day. And starting next Wednesday, uh, we have the broad work open house. And every Wednesday after that, we have a uh, different school house going on at high school. Um, so we're just about getting into the full spring. Okay. When you say you outsource the food source, does that mean that you, uh, the food service, does that mean you don't have any employees in food service anymore? Um, we do. So the way uh, the contract uh, work in preparation, um, we've been uh, very transparent with our cap workers is that they remain East Windsor um, employees. Uh, the food service director is through um, Whitson's. However, as uh, uh, um, employees leave, whether it's retirement, moving on, Whitson's will absorb that's overtime and it will become fully uh, Whitson. So uh, uh, so when we were fully staffed, I believe those 13 employees, like we are, I believe, uh, turning over like under their direction, eight or nine that are on our payroll. Um, but we would expect, you know, you know over the next uh, three to four years uh, to be almost completely Whitson. But they still they cook in our schools, or do they bring the food? No, they um, no, they cook. They use our kitchens. Um, in, uh, uh, kind of the same process. Um, obviously, they have more resources. They can do uh, greater bulk buying, um, so that should be an additional savings. So we had to do our RFD. Um, I mean, what I'm learning is the processes and procedures through the state um, for outsourcing uh, food service are. Uh, uh, more challenging than like the construction. <laughs> um, so Ryan and I had to do a number of PDs, modules, and everything. Um, it was a very long process. Uh, but one of the things that uh, we made a requirement is that uh, they had to continue to uh, turn over a profit. So 
one of the things was that I'm supporting uh, sending a budget uh, forward. Um, so, um, so then back uh, addition to uh, like the world budget. Uh, but so far, the reviews have been very positive. <clears throat> they are in summers and they are now. Okay. That was my next question. Do they have a track record? They do. Yep. Yeah. We actually had, uh, we really had no choice. We set the parameters as far as our priorities, uh, but the RFP was awarded by the state. Um, so, um, like, it was like essentially dictated. They, you know, they are awarded based on the requirements, and this is the company uh, that you need to go with. Okay. And we have a jurisdiction over them. We tell them what to do, not the state. Uh, they, I, they work for us, yes. Okay, I mean, they work for us, right? Yeah, um, but I mean, and working with us, um, well, I mean, one of the big things is they have to maintain state, uh, they have to maintain state compliance. Right. So there's uh, plenty of state reports they have to do, like, such as the reimbursement that Ryan mentioned, uh, because we are um, uh, CMP, uh, CED, which means we're free lunch, but we get state reimbursement by providing uh, the lunches in that manner. So we always get the revenue for one. Uh, later, but they will be responsible uh, for the clients for that. All right, any other questions for Patrick? Yeah, I have one more comment though. I think the water line's done too. Oh, um, yeah. uh, thank you for sharing that. Um, I believe the work is done. Um, they have to do something as far as shutting off the water, I think for Connecticut water that was scheduled around Connecticut water uh, Friday, and then they, uh, because it has to be shut off for 24 hours. And then they will turn it back on Monday, um, and, um, and it um, should be any, any uh, difficulties is what has been reported. Uh, yes, it's just about done. That should be be, be cleared sometime early Monday. Yeah, thank you. All righty, sounds good. Um, moving on, number eleven, new business. I don't believe we have any. We do not. You member has something they'd like to bring up? Uh, finished business. I think we're clear there. Uh, Board member comments? Anybody? No. Nope. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, our next meeting will be September 18th. It'll be a regular monthly meeting. Uh, I will mention I will have a conflict that night. It's my normal Big E trustee duties that day. But it is Connecticut Day of Big E, so it's all your. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but with that, do I have a motion to adjourn? Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All right. Um, motion is made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. All right. We are adjourned. Thank you much for attending. Now it's the middle of summer, new year. It's not a lot going on yet. Yes, sir. Great. 45 minutes to get here. Yeah. The one well, made it it should be longer to get back to her. Um, but actually, daughter went to a new place.